Welcome to Hi Hi Channel. Today, we're at Kukusqua National Park and if you haven't seen it yet, we have another video exploring the White River Suspension Bridge Trail, starting from the Visitor Center. That adventure includes a part of the rugged and breathtaking coastal hiking trail, much like what we'll experience today on the Southern Headland Trail. So be sure to check that out too. Now, let's dive into today's adventure. We're staying close to the Hattie Cove area, exploring the beautiful landscapes around the visitor center and focusing on the scenic Southern Headland Trail. This short but stunning 2 km loop trail offers us a glimpse of the rugged charm that defines Kukusqua National Park's famous coastline. The visitor center is a great place to begin our journey. It's nestled by the peaceful Hattie Cove, offering exhibits on the park's wildlife, geology, and indigenous history, which add an extra layer of meaning to our hike. You can learn about the Anishinaabe culture and the important connection they have with this land. From here, it's just a short walk to the Southern Headland Trail. head onto the trail, we'll quickly be immersed in Kukusqua's wild beauty. The trail is well marked and easy to follow, winding through a landscape of windswept jack pines, boreal forests, and granite rock formations shaped by centuries of erosion. The terrain is gentle enough for a casual hike, but offers moments where the trail opens up to showcase stunning vistas of Lake Superior. The first lookout point reveals panoramic views of Lake Superior's rugged coastline. Here, the waters can be calm or crashing, depending on the day, and you can feel the raw power of this massive inland sea. As we walk further, we encounter rocky outcrops and small bays, perfect for stopping and soaking in the serenity of the environment. One of the highlights of this trail is the series of breathtaking viewpoints along the southern headlands. These vantage points offer expansive views of the deep blue waters of Lake Superior, stretching endlessly to the horizon. The contrast between the smooth glacially polished rock and the crashing waves is mesmerizing, especially when the sun catches the surface of the water, turning it into a sparkling canvas. As we continue, keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. Kukusqua is home to many species, and along this trail, it's common to spot bald eagles soaring overhead, or catch sight of a snowshoe hare darting through the trees. The dense forests surrounding the trail are a perfect habitat for birds, and the shoreline offers a chance to see aquatic wildlife like river otters playing near the water's edge.
loops back toward Hattie Cove, offering one final chance to absorb the beauty of Kukasqua's wilderness. Before we conclude, we'll make a quick stop by the peaceful shores of Hattie Cove itself. It's a perfect spot to reflect on the adventure, with the calm waters contrasting the more rugged terrain we've just explored. Today's hike on the Southern Headland Trail has given us a perfect snapshot of Kukasqua National Park's natural beauty, a mix of serene forests, striking rock formations, and the wild power of Lake Superior. If you want to see more of what Kukasqua has to offer, don't forget to check out our video on the White River Suspension Bridge Trail, which dives deeper into the park's rugged coastal wilderness. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more adventures with Hi Hi Channel.